fellow Namibians, it is New Year's Eve, a time to celebrate endings and a time to look forward in anticipation to new beginnings. Of the new year comes new thoughts, new ideas, and new goals. It is also a time of reflection as we look back on the year that was. Unpleasant memories as well as unpleasant ones. On opportunities seized and opportunities missed. On times of struggle and times of victory. One thing is for sure. In a year we were called upon to re-image Namibia, we did so against all odds and created a new image of Namibia. A Namibia no longer burdened by the pessimistic atmosphere of an economic downturn and COVID-19, but a Namibia moving towards the green shoots on the horizon and the optimism of economic revival and the promise of a brighter future. Indeed, we have navigated through heavy storms, headwinds, and rough waters, but we have done so with patience, poise, and collective sense of purpose, ensuring that no matter how difficult things seemed, we kept the ship intact, keeping it on course to our shores of progress and prosperity. After a protracted and costly two-year battle against the unwelcome visitor of COVID-19, we prevailed. With the help of our international partners, we were able to lift all COVID-19 restrictions in August of this year, bringing to an end the most devastating challenge this nation has faced since independence. At this juncture, let me thank all Namibians for their heroic efforts and our partner countries for their display of international solidarity. Together, we weathered the storm and emerged more resilient than ever. Although we rejoice at the fact that we overcame what seemed like an absolute catastrophe, a sense of melancholy still lingers as we remind ourselves of those Namibians who did not make it through the difficult days of our fight against COVID-19. The casualties of war against an invisible enemy. We remember their smiles, laughter, and company. We shall never forget them. In their memory, we must endeavor to pursue our dream of prosperity and work together in unity so that we grab the low-hanging fruits that the new year brings and take our country to greater heights. Fellow Namibians, it has been said that peace cannot be kept by force. It can only be achieved by understanding. Understanding leads to diplomacy and dialogue. For where diplomacy fails, the people stop talking to each other. Conflict begins. I'm proud to say that throughout the year of re-imaging, Namibians across the country have demonstrated the maturity, patience, and understanding needed to maintain peace. At the social level, it is pleasing to note that we can agree to disagree without being disagreeable. However, when it comes to national interests, we can always set our differences aside for the sake of peace and harmony. For instance, when civil servants decided to go on strike in August through a vote, I canceled planned visits to Jamaica and Cuba, where I was scheduled to undertake key engagements 
in the interest of advancing Namibia's bilateral interests. However, the decision was made to forfeit these ships in order to avert what would have been an economically devastating strike. I called a meeting of key stakeholders where consensus, consensus was reached and we held hands. Therefore, we avoided what could have been the most devastating strike to our economy. As we celebrate the conclusion of the year 2022 and look forward to the new year, let us appreciate the fact that we lived in a country where peace prevails. Let us not take this peace for granted. As we look forward to a year of new promise, let us endeavor to keep the peace by behaving responsibly and celebrating the dawn of new year in a spirit of love, compassion, and understanding, keeping in mind that one person's freedom ends where another person's freedom begins. Therefore, let us go into the new year knowing that in this land blessed by many gems and natural resources, unity is one of our most precious treasures. It is our collective responsibility to protect it and prevent anyone from stealing it from us. There are those that want to see Namibia crash and burn. Let us hold hands in solidarity and continue to prevent their efforts. Fellow Namibians, after a period characterized by protracted economic headwinds and persistent droughts, there are positive signs that our economy is on the rebound and that 2023 promises to bring with it a better fortune. We have a projected 5.6% growth in the second quarter next year. Our economy is expected to perform better in 2023 than in the past two years. Agriculture, mining and ICT are the main drivers for this growth. And given the fact that our tourism sector is experiencing a post-COVID rebound, there is room for more optimism in future. With the acquisition of the world's most advanced diamond recovery vessel, the Benguela Gem Badep Marine, Namibia at a cost of 420 million US dollars, new jobs were created and the diamond sector is likely to see an annual increase of 45%. Our experts also tell us that 2023 SACU revenues will show market improvement. For these reasons, as we conclude 2022, we have cause to look forward with optimism and a renewed sense of an improving economic situation at the dawn of 2023 and beyond. In this regard, our country is now economically healthier and with brighter prospects than the recent past. The Harambe Prosperity Plan 1 and 2 is our short-term impact plan aiming to accelerate implementation of our long-term national development plan and vision 2030. The government remains on track to deliver an impactful economic recovery. The green shoots on the horizon are amplified through efforts to develop a green hydrogen economic ecosystem. And the recent discovery of commercially viable oil reserves. In a world determined to find solutions to reduce global carbon dioxide, emissions and to mitigate global warming, Namibia holds the potential answer through green hydrogen. In this context, the Namibian government has taken the lead together with national and international stakeholders to unlock the massive potential 
of green hydrogen. Therefore, the government established the Green Hydrogen Council, which for the past three years has worked tirelessly to position Namibia as one of the leading players in the global market for green hydrogen. These efforts have brought home unprecedented amounts of new investments and partnerships. Consequently, Namibians have visibly started to benefit from the low-hanging fruits in this emergent sector. In Egypt, during COP27, Namibia signed a landmark agreement with the European Union to collaborate on the production of green hydrogen and the responsible extraction and value addition to critical raw materials in Namibia. Following this agreement, Namibia received pledges in grants valued at over 1.5 billion Namibia dollars to start developing a world-class synthetic fuels industry through construction of various green hydrogen-related projects in the Erongo and Taras regions, starting as early as 2023. In the same vein, His Excellency Robert Habeck, the Vice Chancellor of Germany, visited Namibia with a strong business delegation of 50 people. The visit was to reinforce Europe's most industrialized nation's support for Namibia in various ways, including as a customer for green hydrogen to be manufactured in Namibia. Additionally, government launched the Youth for Green Hydrogen Scholarships, through which 60 master's level and 30 technical and vocational education scholarships were awarded this year. Many more are to come in the near future to prepare Namibians to successfully participate in the unfolding green hydrogen economy. The government's negotiations with Hyphen have proceeded well, and the implementation agreement is expected to commence in the first quarter of 2023, preceded by a feasibility study reported to be in the amount of 2.4 billion Namibian dollars. Thus, in the green hydrogen sector, the agreements we have signed and the foreign direct investment mobilized this year vote well for 2023. Once funding gets deployed, jobs will be created, construction activity will commence, and the plans we have so carefully laid out in this year will begin to bear fruits. Fellow Namibians, the discoveries of potential giant oil reserves in the form of graft and venue reservoirs offshore Namibia in the Orange Basin near Ludridge by Qatar Energy, Shell and Total Energy are said to positively transform the economic landscape of our country and the well-being of our people. These discoveries are ranked among the top 20 globally in the last decade. According to international experts, Namibia stands to receive 500 billion Namibia dollars in foreign direct investment in this regard. Furthermore, we have an estimated production of 6.5 billion barrels of oil. The discoveries could earn Namibia between 60 to 95 billion Namibia dollars annually in taxes and royalties. It is estimated that the two oil projects will generate over 3,600 jobs at the peak of the production and double Namibia's gross domestic product by 2040 to about 636 billion Namibia dollars. Of course, further drilling work and evaluations are ongoing to determine the precise commercial viability 
of these funds. However, the renewed interest means that Namibia can expect increased foreign and domestic direct investment inflows, not only into the gas and oil sectors, but also into the broader economy, both in the short and medium terms. This bodes well for the acceleration of our economic recovery. Fellow Namibians, to ensure that benefits derived from our natural resources will not only accrue to the current generation, but are eventually shared where future generations will launch in May this year, the Velvicia Sovereign Wealth Fund. Moreover, we are in the discussions with the friendly countries that possess a wealth of experience and policy know-how in the oil and gas sector to help beef up our policies and regulations. In this way, Namibia will not only escape the resource curse, but proudly take its place among the league of oil and gas rich countries that are successfully managing these resources for the benefit of their people. Fellow Namibians, as a country, we are prepared for our rendezvous with destiny, a future shaped by information technology, robotics, and the Internet of Things. In this context, we appointed an eight-member Namibia Fourth Industrial Revolution Task Force, which was led by Professor Anita Peters, with the purpose of, among others, conducting a country assessment to determine Namibia's readiness for the fourth industrial revolution. Having successfully completed its work, the task force presented its recommendations to government, which we plan to implement as soon as possible. Furthermore, the landing of the Google Equino subsea cable and the accompanying inland ICT infrastructure moves Namibia one step closer to fully leverage the opportunities presented by fourth industrial revolution. Given these positive scenarios, we should pull ourselves out from the perennial frame of mind of pessimism and rather collectively put the shoulder to the wheel with optimism to realize these national projects. Therefore, let us all pull together as Namibians, each at his or her respective level of responsibility to achieve inclusive and shared prosperity in the Namibian house, where no one should feel left out. I seemed 2022 as the year of reimaging and challenge all of us to endeavor to think anew as a nation and move forward with renewed enthusiasm and vision. I also said that a new and different mental picture should guide the actions we will undertake in the year of reimaging. As we close 2022, there is no doubt that we have been able to reimage our nation. As a nation, we now have a good reason to cease looking backwards, but rather to look ahead and pull forward into the direction of inclusive progress and prosperity. We say goodbye to 2022, the year of reimaging, and say welcome to 2023 the year of revival, which is about reigniting the strength of resurgent nation, a nation that looks into the future with renewed hope and optimism. It is time for our collective revival to shape our future one step at a time as we march towards shared prosperity. Happy New Year, Namibia. May you all have prosperous 2023. May God bless you 
all. May God bless the Republic of Namibia. Thank you.